So now we are trying to find the general Mobius transformation that transforms the upper half plane onto the unit circle in the W plane. This is Z plane, this is W plane. So the upper half plane is mapped onto the interior points of the unit circle and the real axis is mapped to the circle, unit circle. Okay, so you are trying to find all these Mobius transformations, the general Mobius transformation. And uh, by considering z equal to 0 and infinity, so we, we have till now we got that the Mobius transformation is z minus z0 and z minus z1 where z0 is z1 is not equal to 0 so we have got this and by considering so taking z equal to 1 point now uh, we have we have your what is the w point in that case it will be e to the alpha 1 minus z0 1 minus z1 and this should be transformed to we have this and uh, this should be transformed to a point in the unit circle so therefore mod w equal to 1 uh, and this implies so this implies that what does it imply this implies that your uh, because modulus of e to the power i alpha and modulus of 1 minus z naught 1 minus z1 this is equal to 1 so that is we get that 1 minus z naught is equal to 1 minus z1 and uh, so and that is if I square it then 1 minus z naught squared 1 minus z1 squared and that will imply that so 1 minus z0 and conjugate of this 1 minus z0 conjugate and this is 1 minus z1 and 1 minus z1 conjugate okay and uh, if I simplify and then you will find that because the z0 z0 conjugate is z0 plus z0 conjugate and z1 plus z1 conjugate as your z0 z0 conjugate is equal to z1 z1 conjugate because their moduli are same right so therefore this implies that your real of z0 because this divided by 2 and this divided by 2 is real of z0 and this is real part of z1 okay and uh, this implies what so this one and also we have what your z0 is equal to z1 in modulus so therefore i must have that your z0 must be equal to z1 or your z1 is your minus or z1 is z0 conjugate so these are the only two possibilities because it is your uh, z1 is x plus x0 plus i y0 say so then you will see that um, your two points z0 this is x0 uh, or this is plus minus i y0 only because their modulus are same so x0 real parts are same and imaginary parts may be what uh, plus y0 or minus y0 because their modulus are same so i have what your z1 is either z0 or z1 is equal to conjugate of this All right so that, that is what we got now if your z1 equal to z0 then what is your w your w you will find just e to the power i alpha z minus z0 and z minus z0 and that is e to the power i alpha and it is a constant transformation constant transformation constant transformation so this cannot happen so what your z1 must be minus sorry z0 conjugate ah, hence hence your w equal to e to the power i alpha z minus z0 
and z minus instead of z1 I have what z0 this so uh, this is the Mobius transformation that transforms this and now we need to find impose one condition on z0 so you see that the upper half should be mapped to the interior points okay so so you see that uh, if z0 is here if z0 is here and z is some point here in the upper half if z0 is here then i know that your z0 conjugate will be here right z0 conjugate will be here so this distance z minus z0 and this is z minus z0 this one because z is on the upper half and your modulus is what your modulus of w equal to z minus z0 and z minus z0 this okay so therefore your the z0 point should be here all right on the upper half because if it is in the lower half this z0 will be here and z0 conjugate will be here but in that modulus this should be what this should be some interior points here this should be interior point this should be less than one okay so therefore your z0 must be not here this z0 must be here because this distance is less than this distance okay because z is here if z is here then what is the distance these distances are same if z is on the line on the real line then this distance and this distance are same so this will be nothing but what in that case your w will be e to the power i alpha and that is mod of w equal to 1 so it is transformed to the unit circle and that is okay but the upper half plane points are mapped to inside points that means our modulus should be less than 1 so uh, the required the required uh, mobius transformation is the general required mobius transformation is what w equal to e to the power i alpha z minus z naught and z minus z naught conjugate and what is this imaginary of z naught must be strictly greater than 0 okay uh, and and i have this what uh, so so this this mobius transformation transforms the upper half plane points to the interior of the unit circle and the real axis is transformed to the unit circle okay so this condition should be there so this is the general mobius transformation that transforms okay so just considering the rotation and translation etc we can find the other transformation that means the right half plane is transformed to unit circle inside points outside points etc etc okay so i will uh, distribute some examples exercises to you to finish okay thank you